Inquisitor. You learned a hammer.
fools like this. Who need
your service. Inquisitor. We have to reach the Empress before Corypheus. The only question is, how? We know how. I have our way in. The real question is, where is our enemy hiding? At the urging of Grand Duchess holding a ball, absolutely everyone will be there. During the festivities, Celine will be meeting for peace talks with the usurper Duke Gaspard and Ambassador Briala. The assassin must be hiding within one of these factions. What do we know about Duke Gaspard? The man who would have been Emperor. He's Selene's cousin, and was first in line to inherit the throne when Emperor Florian died. Selene outmaneuvered him. She won over the Council of Heralds, who hold authority over title disputes. She became Empress, and he a general in the Imperial Army. He's well loved by the troops. He's also a Chevalier. Most of their numbers sided with him when he turned on the Empress. Aren't the Chevaliers part of the army? Why would they follow the Duke? Most Chevaliers are sworn to serve the crown, but that does not give them faith in the person wearing it. The Empress has tried to improve Elden and Navarra. The Chevaliers see her as anti-military. They believe Gaspard could lead the Empire back to the glory of Draken's expansion years. Who is this Ambassador Briala? An ambassador in name only. She has organized the elves of Halam Sheral into an un... The Empress invited her to the peace talks in a bid to gain the elves' alliance in the war. That would be scandal enough, without the rumor that Briella is a jilted lover of Selene's. A personal grudge and a network of sabotage at her command. <laughs> Promising lead. Wait, the elven leader is a jilted lover of the Empress. It's not widely known. Just a rumor whispered among the palace servants a few years ago. Doubt. The Empress and an elf. Hm. The scandal could destroy Celine's court. Even if a lie, Briella could use it to blackmail the... She has some connection to the throne. Tell me everything we know about the Empress. Empress Celine is a renowned diplomat and reformer. She works tirelessly to secure peace for the Empire. Unfortunately, many Orlesians view peace as complacency. She has yet to name an heir, leaving the future of the Empire in doubt if anything happens to her. Especially when the next in line is her cousin Gaspard, who's made few friends on the Council of Heralds. Selene is surrounded at all times by countless guards, courtiers, servants, and vassals. What better place for an assassin to hide than the Empress's own household? How can Gaspard still be next in line while he wages war against his Empress? The title Grand Duke indicates that he was a prince before the Empress took the throne. Do we need to go to the peace talks? The Empress must have personal guards. We could just warn her she's in danger. We've made the attempt, but... It seems that our message is n someone in... It's better than we don't need this to chance. If all lay falls to Ephesus, no land is safe. We shouldn't waste any time. Let's go to the Winter Palace.
The political situation, the Empress fears our presence could sever it. The Grand Duke is only too happy to have us at the ball as his guests, so our invitation comes from him. Whether we act as his allies or upset the balance of power, he gains an opportunity, if not a clear advantage. So, you're Inquisitor Kadash. From the stories I heard, you were hewn from solid steel and carried a thousand daggers. Bringing the rebel mages into the ranks of your army was a brilliant move. Precision could accomplish with the full support of the rightful Emperor of Orle. Exactly what would be required to get that Imperial support? I am not a man who forgets his friends, Inquisitor. You help me, I'll help you. My lady, are you prepared to shock the court by walking into the Grand Ball with a hateful usurper? They will be telling stories of this into the next age. I can't imagine that crowd has seen anything better than us in their entire lives. You're a woman after my own heart, my lady. As a friend, perhaps there is a matter you could undertake this evening. This elven woman, Briara, I suspect that she intends to disrupt the negotiations. My people have found these ambassadors all over the fortifications. Sabotage seems the least of their crimes. Tell me there's more to your suspicion than the elves were acting dodgy. That ambassador, Briala, used to be a servant of Selene's. That is, until my cousin had her arrested for crimes against the Empire to cover up a political mistake. If anyone in this room wishes Selene harm, Inquisitor, it's that elf. She certainly has reason. <sighs> be as discreet as possible. I detest the game, but if we do not play it well, our enemies will make us look like villains. We're keeping the court waiting, Inquisitor. Shall we? Is that the Inquisitor? Don't be an idiot. How could the herald of Andras be a dwarf? Maybe he's just a servant. Have you seen a ring lying about anywhere? It was a gift from the Comtesse Montbelliard, enchanted by the Fomari. I cannot go into the ball without it. Is this ring particularly valuable? Its worth in coin is not as important as its social value. It was a gift from a member of the Council of Heralds. If she finds out I lost it, she will never forgive me. Not even if I live to be a thousand years old. That's a terrible predicament. If the Comtesse finds out, make her have mercy. Should you happen upon it, I beg you, let me know. What am I going to do if I cannot find my ring?
Is this the ring you were looking for? Enjoy the party. Is that the Inquisitor? Foreigners. Interesting. Any word from the front lines? My spies said these were beyond counting. Surely the Empress will put an end to the war tonight. Pray, my friend. If the Maker does not hear, just pray. Inquisitor, a moment, if you please. I must warn you before you and death. It is no simple matter of etiquette and protocol. 
Every word, every gesture is measured and evaluated for weakness. I'll keep my guard up. Don't worry. The game is like wicked grace played to the death. You must never reveal your cards. When you meet the Empress, the eyes of the entire court will be upon you. You are safer staring down Corypheus. It might be a good idea for the others to hear this warning. Especially Sarah. Maybe tell her twice. I'll have a few discreet words. Everything will be fine. And Raste watch over us all. Gaspar take the throne without the backing of the Council of Heralds? He plans to take it by force. If the Council won't recognize him, I need to have this jacket him. let out a little. It will take some time to get our men into the palace. I'll alert you when we're ready. This dress uniform is preposterous. Formal armor would have been better. Gaspar never struck me as pious. He must I think he gave me was having the entire wing redecorated. But the timing is atrocious. Why would she do such a thing now? How could the Empress afford to renovate the palace without war going? Interesting. Just gossip. I heard the grand. Interesting. Boring. How can they call this a vestibule? It's a foyer. Who does Borzomar favor in the negotiation? It's obviously just a in hopes the trading foodstuffs will resume quickly. I'm probably more of an anti-chamber myself. No one has to you. Is there any progress on the Helmy expedition to Alpha? I wish there was more news coming from the Grand. I had hoped to tour the Good Royal Wing Gardens. Good news is becoming again. an increasingly rare uh, commodity. There are the funds in the Empire. Why don't there so many here? The Empress invited. The guest wing is not open to the public at this time, Inquisitor. Just gossip. I can hardly believe Gaspar and Celine are in the same room. Grand Duchess. What? 
I had no idea. And now presenting Grand Duke Gaspard de Chalon, and accompanying him, Lady Inquisitor Kadash. Vanquisher of the rebel mages of Ferelden, crusher of the vile apostates of the mage underground. Of it. That's not how it went. Champion Asti herself. <laughs> Did you see their faces? Priceless. Accompanying the Inquisitor, Seeker, Cassandra, Allegra, Portia, Calogera, Philomena. Get on with it. Pantagast, 14th cousin to the King of the. Cousin, my dear sister. Grand Duke. We are always honored when your presence graces our court. Don't waste my time with pleasantries, Celine. We have business to conclude. We will meet for the negotiations after we have seen to our other guests. Inquisitor? Lady Inquisitor, we welcome you to the Winter Palace. Allow us to present our cousin, the Grand Duchess of Leeds, without whom this gathering would never have been possible. What an unexpected pleasure. I was not aware the Inquisition would be part of our festivities. We will certainly speak later, Inquisitor. Your arrival at court is like a cool wind on a summer's day. Someone here is working for Tevinta. To the uninitiated, the court is full of intrigues which might seem sinister, Inquisitor. But they are of little note. How do you... I've never seen anything to equal the Winter Palace. We hope you will find time to take in some of its beauties. Feel free to enjoy the pleasures of the ballroom, Inquisitor. We look forward to watching you dance. Inquisitor, a word when you have a moment. Allow me to present to you my younger sister, Yvette Gabriella Montillier. Delighted to meet you, Lady Montillier. <laughs> Inquisitor, I've heard so much about you, but not as much as I want. Josephine writes, but she never tells me anything. Is it true? Rebel mages in Redcliffe were performing blood rites and orgies before you stopped them. Where did you hear such nonsense? Everyone in Antifa says so. Is it true? Of course, every word. Especially the parts where everyone was new. I knew it! 
Which power should the Inquisition throw its weight behind? Selene has held the throne successfully for years. I see no profit in ousting her. Gaspard has run military campaigns, but never a kingdom. His transition would be, let us say, chaotic. Tell me about yourself, Lady Yvette. This is the first time I've encountered any of Josephine's family. She would forget to mention the artist. I've been studying painting under Antiva's royal tutors. You should be proud, Josie. I'm exhibiting my work next season in the city's biggest salon. Have you actually sat down and finished a painting yet? I must wait for my inspiration. And I must wait for your tutor's bids. This may be my only chance to hear about when Josephine was a girl. Oh, yes. As she told you about when she was ten, and... Yvette. Stop. Fine. Uh, what about when we were climbing the cliffs by the... No. Once told the Duke of... Absolutely not. Hmm. She still plays with her doll collection when no one's looking. Yvette! That's absurd. Absolutely preposterous. <laughs> Enjoying the ball? I see many of them. The dancing is so dull, your worship. But the Empress is... Yvette. Sorry, Josie. Go on, Josephine. Half a royal must be empty. So many of the Empire's finest are in attendance. They've noticed the Empress paying you special attention, but they don't quite know how to take advantage of it yet. This uncertainty won't last long, I'm afraid. Which power should... Selene has held the throne successfully for years. Gaspard has run military campaigns, but... His transition would be... I'll see you later. Another time! since I've had any word from Valoyou. Can I get you a drink, Commander Cullen? No, thank you. Inquisitor, did you need something? The sooner we track down this infiltrator, the better. Do you have any advice? Orlesian social events don't fall within my area of expertise. There are a few here we can trust. Be careful. Port. Spard's claim to the throne is fair. Orlais needs someone capable of responding to the crisis at hand. A military-minded leader seems the best option. You've attracted a following. Who are all these people? I don't know, but they won't leave me alone. I take it you're not enjoying yourself. At this point, the headache I'm developing is preferable to the company. Have you noticed anything out of... Without. I doubt there's a single person here without ulterior motives. We'll talk later. I await your signal. Le vent was... Perhaps we can speak later, Inquisitor. And here we are. If you can, refrain from speaking to anyone for the rest of the evening, darling. You don't want to hurt yourself. I've always wondered, what's the Orlesian fascination with masks? We all wear masks, my dear, not just the people in Who you are as a daughter, a lover, a friend, are very different people from the Inquisitor and Herald of Andraste. Orlesians codify this truth make it visible. By giving each of these selves its own separate face, they believe they can be their truest selves unmasked. 
Anything happening I should know? Strange that I haven't seen much of Grand Duchess Florian. One could always find her clinging desperately to the Empress's skirts before. It seems like you enjoy this, Vivienne. This is the game, Inquisitor. Of course I enjoy it. If I didn't, I'd be dead by now. Any words of wisdom for navigating the ballroom? Speak to the Council of Heralds. Six of them are here tonight. The seventh member of the Council is indisposed. His absence will complicate the negotiations. The Council are the highest ranking players of the game. They see everything. They might know something we can use. Tell me, Vivienne, where do you want the crown to fall? What I want is irrelevant, darling. Orle requires stability, and that is best served by Empress Selene. Be ready to act when I give the signal. Always, my dear. I still remember the day they came to tell me that my second was Philippe. Are you married? He's a she. As a bastard. Extra toes. What a fun close marrying crowd. Think I can get you to dance with me later? <laughs> me on their precious tiles. That's a good one. Besides, I don't. That's not me, yeah? Couldn't be me. Making any new friends? As well as you are. A shame. We agree on so much. I hate them, and they hate themselves. I mean, they have to, right? Why else would they wear so much? Everything. Got to cover up how rubbish they are. Any thoughts on who we're investigating? The Empress is pretty. It'd be fun to drink and kill stuff with Gaspard. Brianna is friggin' funny. Elves, elves, elves. But it's really a pissing match with an old lover. Don't know the rest, but that explains a lot. They're all lying, but Celine's nice to look at. Good thing we're here to save her neck. Any hidden treasures from friends of your little network? You mean, do any of the servants ferrying tarts between these windy tits hate them enough to give up a stash or two? I'm not saying yes, but wait, yes I am. There's some good stuff hidden around. Keep an eye out. Back soon. Not going anywhere. Time perhaps. Good. I was hoping it would catch you. What did the Duke say? He points the finger at Ambassador Briala. The Ambassador is up to something, but she can't be our focus. The best place to strike at Celine is from her side. Empress Selene is fascinated by mysticism, foreseeing the future, speaking with the dead, that sort of rubbish. She has an occult advisor, an apostate who charmed the Empress and key members of the court as if by magic. I've had dealings with her in the past. She is ruthless and capable of anything. 
How can Selene openly keep an apostate in the Imperial Court? The Imperial Court has always had an official position for a mage. Before now, it was little better than Court Jester. Vivian was the first to turn that appointment into a source of real political power. When the Circles rebelled, technically every mage became an apostate. The word lost much of its strength. That sounds exactly like the person we're looking for. She's worth investigating. Can't be sure of anything here. Both leads point toward the guest wing. It's a promising place to start. I'll coordinate with our spies to see if I can find anything better. I will be in the ballroom if you need me. How has the lyrium tree dropped off so sharp? With so much fighting to manage to hire. My contacts said there's a new supplier. Can't track down. Might be. This ball is a waste of time. Like all Orlesian foolishness. Let's find the Venatori collaborator and get out of here. If you're noteworthy, nothing yet. I will let you know. You don't seem to care much for the ball. Or lesions pretend their petty squabbles are a game. Yes, let us treat corruption and deceit as delightful amusements. How wonderful. We are here to save Empress Celine, and it galls me. Why the Empire would be better off without her. Gaspard is the leader Olay needs in this crisis. You support not. Chaos is what Corypheus wants, and we must oppose him. Were it up to me, however, I would let Selene fall and Gaspard take the throne. He would see the true threat, not spend his time throwing balls and writing letters. Stay alert. We don't know where the enemy is hiding. I'll be watching for trouble. The sooner we leave this place, the better. Leave us. The package is in the guest wing, upper room. The one of the garden, statuette. something here. Better take a closer look.
with us. Good to know. Well, well, the Inquisitor. Here as a guest of my nephew, no less. I'm curious. I didn't know the Grand Duke was your nephew. He's my brother's eldest boy. Always a difficult child, Gaspar. Never listened, never did what he was told. He was raised a prince. All his life we told him he would be emperor. It was his destiny, his duty. What else should he do with his life if not fight for his destiny? Have you noticed anything strange this evening? My niece, Rorian, hasn't spoken to me all evening. That's not like her. What can you tell me about the Civil War? If you are hoping for insight, you've come to the wrong man. It's war. It is brutal, and terrible, and sometimes necessary. There's nothing more to say. Another time, my lord. Boring. Get these pastries out to the diplomats. The Duchess has asked for too many. I can't carry them all. You don't want to be here, stranger. He hasn't made the pickup. It's been hours. He went into the servant's wing. Nobody's come out of there all night. I'll tell Briella we have a situation. Interesting. I heard the Inquisition was here. should have returned hours ago. You're too good. Dallying with some seal with Gaspar's vitriol. I can't imagine Gaspard being vitriolic. What's the matter? The Grand Duke bears a grudge against the Council for... He's threatened death if they refuse him again. Collectively and individually. Along with their vassals. What backwater did you come from? Everyone knows that. Is closed. Please use the main entrance to the pool room. I am not talking to you until we get home. Well, well. What's this?
my lady! May we have a word? It is very important. The Empress has sent us with a message for you. How can I be certain this message is from the Empress? We three wear the masks of House Valmont. They signify the Empress. They are also extremely fashionable. What's the message? <laughs> this is so exciting! Empress Celine is eager to assist the Herald of Andraste in her holy endeavor. She will pledge her full support to the Inquisition as soon as the usurper Gaspar is defeated. That's a generous offer. The Empress believes wholeheartedly that the Inquisition is our best hope for peace in these difficult times. She looks forward to cementing a formal alliance. As soon as Gaspar is out of the way. But we have taken enough of your time. Please, enjoy the masquerade, Inquisitor. Interesting. Good to know. So, that was Andras's hair. The maker certainly didn't choose her for her wit. Must be mistaken. No, I'm quite certain it was blood on. If they're playing the game, they're not doing it very well. You don't leave evidence if you play to win. With Gaspard and that elf woman here, the only one playing to win is Celine. You only say that because you fancy the Empress's pet apostate. It sickens me to think of the chaos those Maleficarum are causing across the Empire. Even you cannot deny that the Templars abandoned the faithful in their darkest hour. How can you condone that? They are the ones who should be brought to heel, if you ask me. Better get back to the... 